so this was my amazon prime day find it is at x4000 watt hour power station which i got very cheap for 275 euros for what hour so you see that's what it is there so let's see what is inside so packet inside packet what else so what does it says it can charge with solar panels and so on and it says yeah any more specification it doesn't says let's see other side so this is one of the very rare power stations which can output in 24 volt and 12 volt albeit only 10 amperes that means maximum 240 watts 1000 watt of ac power is there yeah. so let's see what is inside or no name Chinese power stations are always have the same packing but this one seems to be rugged put it inside when instructions manual and the specifications must be here let's see so it can take 36 volt 100 to 410 400 watts so I guess the standard 410 watts should be able to work i will try and this is the complete specification so it says battery model edge 3.2 volt 600 mah that is in 8 series 7 parallel configuration no it means yeah 1c charging and half c 1c discharging and half c charging and the battery type is 32700 and cigarette lighter and so on others are there charging voltage is 29.4 volt otherwise solar panel 36 volts what else is there this packet cigarette lighter charger Oh no, this is a new thing. It is not as adapter, but it gets 12 volts and up, uh, steps up to 29.5 volts. So it's an, uh, yeah, DC DC step up adapter. Oh, which is a nice thing. And And another packet, what is inside? Uh, okay, 29.4 volt, 5, 6 ampere, that is around 176 watts charger, AC charger is there. So let's continue our unpacking. Okay, so I think I have to do the heavy lifting here, which I cannot do it with one hand, but two hands I require. So let's see. We in kilo so heritage in the packing it's totally packed let's take it out okay this thing is bigger than it looks in the photo what does it have one cigarette adapter for 24 volt another for 12 volts which is good Solar Anderson connector, DC input and DC output and 60 watt maximum I would have liked 100 watts but 
here it is and global power on off switch and the back label where everything is again written with it says 42 ampere hour 25 at 25 volts no um i would say 275 euros for 48 and 24 volt 42 ampere hour battery with inverter charger everything else is really neat cheap so i just turned it on and it came with 83 percent power let's do some quick testing oh let's see dd Is there any switch for this? No. And is it going? Okay, so ESP port is not charging. Let me see what the problem is. The instructions manual. So the instructions manual has USB has no output, connection not established. I have to restart. Yeah. Let's do it okay it seems that the cable was faulty or not supported you can see the notebook is getting charged with around 50 watts 60 watts around 56 60 no. i can connect my 100 watts power bank to see it charges it or not but at least 60 watts is delivered and now i have connected the power bank which is supposed to support 100 watts so here we can see it can output more than 60 watts and here is the display on the power bank So around 60 watts is coming and 67 watts are going out and what I also do with these power station is do a self charge test so can it charge itself with own batteries let's see you can see that 174 watts is coming here and let's see how much it, it is going and it is taking 193 watts so there is a difference of around 20 watts that is around 10 percent oh, i would say it's okay so now let's do the charging and discharging test again i am connecting the charger of another power station to see how much output is getting so it cannot display seems to me it cannot display both at the same time it can display either input or output and you have seen which is switched to output so output is 231 watts that is power being taken and really utilized by the other power station is around 206 watts here again we see the difference of around 10 percent so loss is 10 percent i would say that's pretty neat and even with 200 watts of uh, load even after i would say three minutes two three minutes no fan running out on so it is better than chi we are even 70 watts of load uh, starts the fans mm, it seems that it is tear down friendly so i will remove these four screws and see what is inside oh 
but before I do that let me remove everything So oh, there are two fans and a battery pack. Oh, let me then also unscrew the other side and see what is there. Yeah, that's where I can go. Let's turn some lights on. It seems like it is neatly made. I do not like this <coughs> ender cell connector and well, but however seems like a neat design to me yeah so I have not done the capacity test but I take it as a word maybe it is thousand watt hour and uh, yeah if you have liked the video then yeah like it dislike then also dislike it you can dislike it and subscribe and if you want a more uh, thorough tear down of this pub station then write in comments and i will make one thanks for watching have a nice day bye bye